what is up Taurus welcome to your general timeless reading these are timeless so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you these are also general so take what resonates leave the rest uh, if you want a personal reading or Reiki session book it down below through my website in the description box and if you want a free 15 minute reading check out patreon I do have a promo going on there for the month of June so go ahead check that out and like share subscribe give this video a thumbs up it helps the channel grow and hit that notification bell so you can see when i post and when i go live and check out vimeo if you want access to the monthly readings that i post on patreon i also do energy shift readings moon cycle readings and weekly patreon videos on there so go ahead check that out but taurus let's get into it let's see what goodies we have going on for you i'm going to be using tarot royale um this all the tarot decks that we use are going to be linked down below for you guys okay so Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for Taurus. Show me what I must need to see for Taurus. You have the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles, both in reverse. And you have the Ten of Cups, and you have the Five of Cups in reverse. This is really interesting because it's it kind of feels like, it literally feels like a battle royale, <laughs> which is really funny because of the name of the deck. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. I feel like this is actually you going after your Ten of Cups and actually getting rid of energies that are standing in the way of that. I feel like these are two separate energies, the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. They feel like they're, how do I say this? This kind of feels like it could be a social group or a family dynamic or a living situation. I feel like these people are somehow involved together, whether it's your masculine energy and another person or two separate people outside of yourself, right? So just take it as it resonates. But this feels kind of like a clash of the titans. It, it feel it does feel like conflict. I feel like this is conflict that you're letting go of because it was standing in the way of your ten of cups. King of Wands is um, Leo energy, also Aries for me as a reader. King of Pentacles is Taurus energy. Ten of Cups is Pisces energy, and the Five of Cups is Scorpio energy. With the Five of Cups in reverse, it's realizing that you can have your happiness. The Five of Cups in reverse is seeing those two cups that are still upright. It's kind of like getting over it, right? I'm getting over it. I like the Page of Cups. Oh, underneath that is Temperance, followed by the Ace of Cups. Yeah. So this is you finding balance in your own life, opening up your heart space to be receptive to a new cycle for yourself, something that resonates with you on an emotional level. I really like this. I really like this. Very, very, very nice. Um, let's use Spellcasters. Let's look at this King of Wands for Taurus. Sun, so Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Woo! Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. I don't take the whole stack if it comes out with a big old stack like that. I only take the top card. Ten of Wands in reverse, Sagittarius energy. Like I said, this kind of felt like conflict, like a clash of the Titans. This, this feels like a lot of stubborn energy, so this person might have caused a lot of conflict, a lot of heaviness in your life. Um, it's also eclipse season right now, so if you're very super sensitive, um, sensitivity is going to be peaked right now. Um, this kind of energy feels like burden. It feels like someone who might be pressuring you or pushing you, trying to persuade you to do certain things that you don't really want to be doing. And if you don't want to do it, you don't got to do it. Uh, it's kind of like a peer pressure energy. Let's get another on this King of Wands. King of Swords in reverse and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's almost like they're trying to explain or sell you on something and you're just not receptive to it. 
King of Swords and a King of Wands is like the perfect salesman. It's someone who's really passionate, very fiery, and the King of Swords is someone who's really smart, really logical. With the King of Swords in reverse during Mercury retrograde though, this is a lot of miscommunication. Six of Pentacles in reverse tells me that the person on the receiving end is not receptive to this. This definitely feels like a lot of conflict. It's a very imbalanced situation, but it's definitely causing a lot of heaviness between the two people. This feels very combative though. It feels very combative. It's almost like someone trying to impose their own opinion, their own endeavor, their own goals on you, like living vicariously through you in a sense. And if you don't want to do that, it's they're kind of throwing a tantrum, right? Um, and vice versa. If you're trying to get something done and you want somebody to do something with you and they don't want to, it might be irritating you or upsetting you, but at the same time, we can't control other people, right? They're, if they don't want to, they, don't, they do not have to. They do not have to. So let's look at this King of Pentacles in reverse. Let's look at this energy. King of Pentacles in reverse could be someone who has a selfish tendency, but also does not feel very stable financially or just doesn't feel stable and secure in themselves. A King of Wands in reverse is very um, pushy, very overconfident. Um, so that's why that energy is very combative. Let's look at this King of Pentacles in reverse. It feels more so like someone who's just yeah, the we have temperance in reverse. This is very imbalanced. These two people are not on the same page. They're just not on the same page. Temperance in reverse. I feel like this person doesn't feel secure. This kind of is um, secure in the sense of whatever is being offered to them. I feel like they they don't see it as something that's stable. They don't see it as something that would be healthy with temperance there. I think this is how they perceive the situation with the King of Wands. They don't see it as something that's going to be balanced, right? I feel like this, I feel like most of you are actually this King of Pentacles, to be honest. It is Taurus energy, to be honest. So with Temperance in Reverse, Sagittarius energy, I feel like if this is you, you're perceiving whatever this King of Wands is offering and King energy is just energy. It's not gender. So this, if, if you're a woman, you can still embody King energy. Um, check out how to interpret tarot as a viewer. It's linked down below in the description box to go over everything you need to know about watching tarot online, right? Um, but a king of pentacles energy in reverse with temperance in reverse. I feel like this is how this individual is perceiving whatever this king of wands is offering or trying to persuade them to be a part of or take part in, right? Let's look at this king of pentacles. Let's get another on this. A little bit of an explosion. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands. Yeah, they don't want to take part in it because they actually have their own foundation in mind. They have something that they want to build. They have something they want to build for themselves. They have their own foundation they want to create. It has, it has absolutely nothing to do with this King of Wands. They, they're just trying to create something for themselves. They want a new start. They want a brand new start. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. They're not interested because both kings have tens on them. The King of Wands has a Ten of Wands and the King of Pentacles has a Ten of Swords. These two individuals are just not meant to mesh. So there's a new foundation coming in. There's King of Pentacles, which is really nice. So let's look at the Ten of Cups. We have three tens, which is a lot of cyclic energy, which is really nice. Let's look at this Ten of Cups. I feel feminine all of a sudden. I feel very feminine energy, very... um. It shifted from very aggressive to very heart space, throat space energy. I won't be shocked if we get some pages now. We have the Seven of Cups. Between the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups is a Three of Cups energy. This could be a reconciliation. <clears throat> Soul Tribe energy. This could be very like daydreaming manifestation energy. There's the Nine of Cups in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands. A lot of cups going on here. With the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups, I feel like this is somebody really wanting a second chance, right? With the Ace of Wands, add a Ten of Cups energy. I feel like they might be daydreaming about this Ten of Cups. I feel like this is King of Pentacles energy, wanting somebody to come out of the cold, right? With the Five of Pentacles there, it kind of feels like a resurrection of something. And with the Five of Cups in reverse, we have two Fives in reverse. It's 
stepping away from the limiting beliefs, stepping away from the scarcity mindset, and really allowing yourself to manifest to call this higher frequency energy in. And that's why you're stepping into this Page of Cups temperance energy, because you're calling in the Ace of Cups, right? You're calling in the new cycle. You're opening up yourself to be receptive, which is feminine energy, very receptive energy. Empress energy is receptive. We receive from the feminine, we create in our masculine. Let's look at the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? The Fool. There's the new cycle. Very nice. The Fool's in reverse. I feel like it's just um, like the hesitance toward it. We have the Devil. Then we have the Nine of Wands. There's the Page of Cups in reverse. Okay, so here's like the limiting beliefs. Here's the limiting beliefs. Okay, then we have, wow, got a lot of majors. A lot of majors. So there's a really big shift happening, and that's what's blocking this new cycle from coming in. Because we have a lot of fear, right? The limiting beliefs, the second chance of this, the, of having this Nine of Cups, but trying to release that scarcity mindset. So we see this opportunity, right? Because remember, the Five of Cups is getting over it. Getting over the fear of, what if I don't have my Ten of Cups? What if I can't achieve my Ten of Cups? Releasing that fear. Because when we have that fear, it's going to block the fool it's going to delay the fool which is exactly what's happening here the fear the devil right the limiting beliefs scarcity mindset all those self sabotaging thoughts the devil rooted in the ego right delays the fool keeps the heart space closed because you're sitting in a wounded warrior energy page of cups in reverse closed heart space card the card of not being vulnerable not being emotionally honest with yourself keeps you in a wounded warrior energy the nine of wands right but it's divine time to go through this transformation, the star and death, right? The rebirth, right? Allowing the old to fall away, allowing those limiting beliefs to fall away because they no longer serve you. And that's when you go within and you work on letting down your guard, releasing the walls, seven of wands and the hermit. A lot of majors, that's a really big transformation. You have the hermit, the fool, the devil, the star, and I think that was it. Yeah, a lot of major arcana. So let's look at the Page of Cups in your overall. So this all happens when you realize that whatever's being offered to you from one person isn't gonna make you happy. You do wanna achieve your happiness for yourself, but you need to allow yourself to have that happiness and not fear that you are going to sabotage it or it's not meant for you, because it is meant for you. But the more you project fear and limiting beliefs, the more you're basically pushing it away because you're neutralizing that manifestation energy. Let's look at the Page of Cups. That's a lot. So we're only going to take what fell right on top of it and what's at the top here. So you got Justice, Magician in Reverse, King of Cups in Reverse, and the Lovers in Reverse, right? So the Lovers in Reverse and the King of Cups in Reverse, it's, Lovers is also about decisions. It's not about just relationships. It's needing to make the conscious decision to step into your power and allow your heart space to open so you can find the balance and really, oh, and look what we have. There's a whole stack here. I'm not going to take the whole stack, but I do take what's on top and we have the Three of Cups, right? So it's, it's wanting to call in this happiness, this rejoicing energy, this, this soul tribe energy or a reconciliation with somebody, right? But it's needing to make the conscious decision to step into your power, right? Magician in reverse is a misuse of personal power or a lack of use of personal power. You're not realizing your full potential. You're not allowing your heart space to be open. We're working out of a lot of distorted masculine energy here. And with the lovers in reverse, it's a need to make the decision to heal the heart space of your masculine energy, to find that balance within yourself, to be more receptive, right? So you can welcome in all these new opportunities, allow yourself to be vulnerable, go through that healing, find that balance, justice, temperance, balance, moderation, and that's when the new cycle will come in for you. You have a 10 of cups waiting for you, but it's a need to go within and allow yourself to be vulnerable, to allow it to flow to you makes a lot of sense though because with eclipse season it's a lot of intense energy it's a lot of healing energy especially around relationships with self relationships with other people but it's a lot of introspection it's a lot of reflection especially when we have retrogrades going on during eclipse season because retrogrades are reflective energy so it's time to reflect on your relationship with the ten of cups why do you not feel worthy of a ten of cups or why do you assume you're going to sabotage your ten of cups right okay so 
this is what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you'd like a personal reading or a Reiki session, go ahead, book it down below. If you want a free 15 minute reading, check out Patreon. That's where I do the monthly readings, energy shift readings, moon cycle readings, and weekly Patreon only videos. Other than that, like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.